Folks, here we are with 141 to go for the introductions. Lloyd Trojan visiting the Minneapolis Lions. And we are here for a battle of the NCAA lead, two top 10 teams in Class 3A. Big, only unbeaten teams in the NCAA. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. Big, big. Big, 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 big. Lloyd is 5 and 1 this year. Minneapolis is 6 and 0. Oh. The barn is packed, ready to go. We're ready to go. This should be, well, we've waited a long time for this rematch. Uh, two years ago, we knocked Bloyd out, kept them from going to the state tournament. Last year, they knocked us out. And now we're just seconds away from starting introductions. Minneapolis is coached by Kevin Williams, Eric Shoup, and Mr. Harris. Dennis Harris. We have pleased to host the best this evening, Wood High School Trojan. <laughs> this competition is being conducted according to the rules of the Kansas State High School Activities Association and the National Federation of State High School Association. Now let's meet our starting five. Bill Wood, a 6'3 senior, number 30 York, plays captain, Jared Fox. Joe Fouts for Beloit, number 31. Ryan Weedle, freshman, the gunslinger. Dustin Little, number 15, starts for Minneapolis. Aaron Woods. Jared Shoemaker, number 22, he's a senior. Kelly, coach's boy, number 35. There goes Owen Kendall, the big O. Jeff Pruitt, the big boy from Beloit, six foot nine. Adam Grice, number 24 for the Lions. I don't have their roster here for them. All right, folks, we're ready for the tip off. 34 is Woods. Woods. That's Mad Act 33. Yeah. What? No, Jerk! There's the opening tip, controlled by Beloit. Woods drive. Pruitt for misses. Weedle with the rebound up to Shoemaker. Owen Kendall back out to Weedle. Bloyd's in the man to man defense. Shoemaker with the ball back out front to Greist. Over to Little. Little to Weedle. He thinks about it. He passes inside to Adam Greist. It's blocked. Pruitt rocked it.
shot's no good. Minneapolis with the ball. Weedle. Owen Kendall with the ball. He makes a bucket. Lions lead two to nothing. <laughs> Pruitt with the ball. Woods with the ball. Back to Pruitt. He goes inside. The ball is blocked. Shoemaker with the ball. Shoemaker brings it up, gives it to Weedle. Knocked out of bounds by Beloit. Fouts is 31, Woods 34. Kendall with the ball. Inside to Grice. Foul on Beloit. Fouts picks up his first foul. Kendall. Over to Shoemaker. Shoemaker pops. No good. Rebound being fought, fought for. Little comes away with over to Shoemaker. Ball stolen. Fouled by Adam Grice. Look, a nice block to me. That's a mad egg. That stands number 33. Tanner Litton. Tanner Litton. I don't know if there's somebody coming to He'll shoot two. This one's no good. It's good. Two to one. Lions lead. It's five minutes, 46 seconds left. First quarter. They have still two to one. Ball no good. Rebounded by Grice. Woods knocked the ball out of bounds. Minneapolis retains it. Weedle with the ball. Ryan, he's a freshman. Off to Shoemaker. Over to out front to Kendall. Over to Little. Little drives into Shoemaker. Baseline. Adam Grice goes inside. Oh! Shot was weak. Beloit brings the ball up court. Stolen by Kendall. Owen brings it up. Deesha's off to Weedle. Little has the ball over to Shoemaker. Weedle with the ball. Out front. Five minutes, first quarter. Two to one, Lions lead. Shoemaker dribbles, stops. Over to Little. Grice with the ball. Shoemaker, short. Pruitt with the rebound. Pruitt with the ball. Down to Kelly. Litton with the ball. Nice move by 31. Two. Fouts, no good. Uh oh, they got their own rebound. Kelly with the foul.
on here. We've got official conversation. I guess they're questioning whether he was shooting or not. <laughs> Woods has the ball, being guarded by Weedle. Woods over to Fouts. Fouts inside to Pruitt. Pruitt turns. The ball stripped from him. Shoemaker with the ball. He takes it all the way. He is fouled by Pruitt. He's got the glass under the goaltender. Three minutes, 56 seconds left in this quarter. There's some tension here. The slow score so far. Minneapolis leads three to one. Shots good by Shoemaker, four to one. And the big O comes out. The big Z comes in. Yes, sir. -y. Bishop. Comes in for Owen Kendall. Josh Lott comes in. Second shot by Shoemaker. It's right there, it's good. Five to one, full court pressure. Woods brings it up. Wood finds Litton. Back out to Woods, into Pruitt. Woods, bad pass. Ball belongs to the Lions. Weedle with the ball. Three minutes, 37 seconds left. Five to one, Lions lead. Crumb to Shoemaker. Shoemaker to Bishop. Shoemaker, baseline move, puts it up. Off the glass, it's good. Seven to one lead, Pruitt with the ball. Over to Litton. Litton baseline move. Oh, he's walking. Bel Bel Beloit's having a hard time, Dale getting started. Seven to one. Minneapolis leads with two minutes and 59 seconds. Shoemaker gives the ball to Weedle. Ryan Weedle brings it up. He crosses center court. He gives off to Brandon Crum. Over to Bishop. Inside the lot. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> Beloit brings it up. Kelly with the ball. Over to Litton. Litton drives. Gives to Kelly. Litton with the ball. He stops. He finds Kelly. They try to find Pruitt inside. The ball stolen by the Lions. Heads up defense. Shoemaker brings it up. He gives off to Brandon Crum. No. Josh Lott. Weedle, he finds Lott under the bucket. Yes, sir! -y! How about that, folks? Nine to one, two minutes left. Oh, they're gonna call Shoemaker on a foul. I don't like that. I was gonna say, Trace, is I went uh, last Friday to watch Taker Hart play below. Mm -hmm. And Taker Hart was constantly stepping in front of Pruitt, stealing the ball off. Uh, it's our final dawn on the reason he's doing it. He's always got his hands down with his yeah. waist. Never up here. No, that. And they're doing the same thing tonight. His hands are down his waist. He's stepping in front of the team on the way. Uh, if you 
you're a big post player, you got to get your hands up and yeah. they throw you the ball. Use that height to your advantage. Nine to one, folks. Minneapolis leads. First quarter, minute 58 left. Woods to inbound the ball. He gives it to Fouts. Back to Woods. Woods dribbling. Pruitt has the ball. Over to Kelly. Foul on Owen Kendall. Pruitt turns. He hits her. <laughs> Minneapolis brings the ball up fast. There's Josh Lott from eight. It's blocked by foul. Nine to three, a minute 30 left. Weedles come in the ball game for Minneapolis. A little version. And Owen Kendall, he takes it in. It's blocked by Pruitt. Nine to three. He gets feet, he can just reach that arm back there, slap it away anyway. Yes, he can. <laughs> Long enough arm. Pruitt with the ball, guarded by Kendall. Back out front to Kelly. Out of bounds on Beloit. Aaron Woods lost the ball. We got one minute and eight seconds left. First quarter, folks. Minneapolis nine to three. Litton comes back in the ball game. Weedle with the ball, guarded by Woods. Adam Greist over to Lott. Inside to Brandon Crum. Nice pass to Adam Greist. We're going to have a foul on Beloit. Foul on Tanner Litton. First personal, fourth team foul. Alley-oop, Kendall. Oh, foul on Pruitt. That's a nice play by the Lions. Second personal on Jeff. And yes. Quarter. 53 seconds left. First quarter, Minneapolis leads 9-3. to three. Jeff Pruitt has just picked up his second foul. It sends Owen Kendall to the line in a packed gymnasium for a shot. It's no good. We need them, Dale. Pruitt comes out to take a little breather. No reason getting the third foul right away. Second shot's good, 10 to three with 53 seconds left. Litton with the ball. Foul on Lott. He fouled Woods. First person on Josh. Beloit has the ball with 49 seconds left. They trail the Lions by seven. Beloit is ranked number three in the state of Kansas, folks. They cross center court. Guarded by Weedle. Woods with the ball. Over to Kelly. Kelly dribbles. Stop. Gives it to Fouts. Knocked out of bounds. Yes, it was a, a fair call with 35 seconds left. In and out, no good. Adam Grice with the rebound. He gives it to Ryan Weedle. Ryan pushes it to Brandon Crum. Over to Josh Lott. He got the easy bucket. Yes, sir. 12 to 3, 20 seconds left. Woods brings up the ball. Knocked out of bounds by Owen Kendall. Thirteen seconds left, folks. First quarter, twelve to three. The Lions lead. Lloyd gets the ball inbounds. Litton has it. 
Over to Kelly. The Woods. Oh boy, how about that for a move? Nice move, that's into the first quarter. Lions lead 12 to five. What? The second quarter action Both teams have come back to start the second quarter, folks. Minneapolis is undefeated. Beloit's five and one, ranked third in the state. It's a big game on a Friday night. Weedle with the ball, he's a freshman. Over to Crum, a sophomore. Over to Lott, he's a junior, into Greist. He gives it to Brandon Crum from the corner. It's being fought for, Weedle comes away with it. Yes, sir! 14 to five. He plays like a veteran, folks. Kelly with the ball. Gives it to Litton. Litton shoots from fifth. Off, no good. Fouts with the rebound. Pats back out to Kelly. To Fouts. Deflected. Weedle on Fouts. Or Woods. Woods stops. Gives back to Fouts. Fouts over to Kelly. To Fouts. Kelly in the corner for three. He swished her for three, folks. 14 to eight. Brandon Crum with the ball. Out to Lott. Back to Brandon Crum. Lott. Oh, bad pass by Lott. Ball stolen by Beloit. Woods. Finds Kelly. Back to Woods. Kelly in the corner. Fouts, Kelly. Over to Woods. Stolen by Adam Grice. Stolen, oh it's fought for, Adam. Coming with a nice deal. There's a gunslinger. Yes sir! 17 to eight. Big shot by Weedle. Fouts with the ball. Kelly. The ball's being fought for. The ball belongs to the Lions. Blue Queen Old Shoemaker. Dustin Little coming in. 17 to eight, five minutes, 49 seconds left till halftime. Beloit with the ball. Kelly with the ball. Gives it to Litton. He's guarded by Lott, he takes it in. First shot's up. Good. Cuts the lead to 17 to nine. He nails them both, folks. 17 to 10, seven point lion lead. Little with the ball. Gives off to Crum. Back to Little, over to Weedle. Shoemaker. Shoemaker looks, dribbles. Back over to Little. Out front to Crum. Little with the ball, Dri dribbles. Gets it inside the lot. He's he's fouled. Foul He'll shoot two. 16 fouls on Beloit. Next one will put the Lions in the one and one. Josh Lott steps to the line for two. Five minutes, 27 seconds left till halftime. First shot is no good. We're missing too many of them, Dale. Yeah, compared to Tuesday, we were nailing a lot of them there. Here's the second one. Off. Missed them both. Three. 
Woods brings it up. Finds Fouts. He nails it for two. They cut the, they cut the lead to five. Crum with the ball. Shoemaker. Weedle out front. Over to Little. He looks. Over to Shoemaker. Shoot to Crum. Shoot to Josh Lott. Minneapolis ball knocked out of bounds by Beloit. 4.49 left. Bishop comes in. Bishop comes in, little goes out. Ryan Weedle's in again. Plays lot. Shoemaker inbounds the ball. He's looking. He finds Weedle. Weedle dribbles out front. Gives it back to Shoemaker. 17 to 12. Lions lead by five. Crum with the ball. Shoemaker. Block and foul on Woods. Boy, man, took too many steps there, and I might tend to agree with him. I think he did, but they did not call it. All right, uh, Shoemaker goes the line for one and one. We need to start hitting some of these. These will. Well, you lose all your money, Trace. Seventeen to twelve. Minneapolis is not capitalizing on their free throws. That may be the Kelly, Kelly for three. Yes. Get the lead to two. Seventeen to fifteen. Crum with the ball. Weedle. Shoemaker. Over to Crum. To Weedle. Litton with the ball. Stolen by Shoemaker. 3.57 left. Trojan Super and Tom is giving a six. 3.56 left. Trojan Super and Tom is giving a six. We have been outscored 10-7 uh, here in the second quarter. But Mr. Pruitt's hitting on the beat. We've got to find some more offense, Dale. Yeah. Beloit's taking the court, followed by Minneapolis. There's 17 to 15, the Lions lead. The Lions have the ball. Shoemaker into Ryan. Weedle. Weedle across center court. He gets off to Crum. Crum back to Weedle. Shoemaker with the ball. Cross court to Crum. Into Bishop. Yes, sir! 19 to 15. Fouts has the ball, back to Woods. Over to Kelly. He missed everything. The ball belongs to the Lions. Kelly, the coach's kid had hit a couple, but he missed that one. Missed a big time. Air ball. Weedle brings it up, gives off to Crum. Shoemaker. Over to Crum. Beloit's playing a 2-3 zone. Into Weedle. He tries to get into Bishop. Bishop gets it. The bucket again by Bishop. 21-15. Fouts has the ball. Over to Woods. Woods pops. No good. Weedle with the rebound. Weedle. Brings it across center court. Over to Weedle. Luke oh, come on, Luke. Weedle with the ball. Two minutes, 40 seconds left till halftime. Shoemaker. Shoemaker thinks. Gives back out to Bishop. Crum. Weedle. Weedle. Three quarters got blocked. The shot was blocked. 
Six point lead for the Lions. Fouts for three. He nailed her. That was a two point shot. 21 17. Foot was on the line, huh? Bishop. Weedle back out to Crum. Ball's being fought for. Pruitt comes back in for the Trojans. 21 to 17, it's a four point lead for the Lions. And I'm here to, this, this game will go down to the wire. I predict it now, folks. I don't see it happening any other way. Twenty-one for the Lions, seventeen for the third-ranked team in the state of Kansas in 3A, the Bloit Trojans. Shoemaker looks. He finds Crum back to Weedle. He'll shoot for three. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Pruitt. A minute 40 left in this quarter. Second personal on Short rebound, Owen Kendall. Shoemaker across the center court. Crum. Short. Wow, Shoemaker up. Oh, almost. Shoe had a heck of a rebound. They couldn't quite get the shot to follow. Pruitt with the bucket, makes it a two point game, 21 to 19. Lot over to Shoemaker. Weedle, Crum, minute left. Kendall from the free throw line, no good. Deloitte has a chance to tie or go ahead. 53 seconds left till halftime. Bouts with the ball. Pruitt is at the line to shoot. A one to one, or two, excuse me. He's missed two in a row. Makes up for some of the ones we missed, huh? Yes, it helps, balances things. Second shot. Also no good, Shoemaker with the heads up rebound. Gives it to Weedle, there's 33 seconds left. Crum with the ball. Crum for three. Yes! Fouts. Pruitt with the ball. Oh, mercy. There's a defensive lapse there. Woods has the bucket. There's eight seconds left. Three point five seconds on the clock. Lions lead by three. Yeah. You make the girl this side, you got trapped. 24, 21, three and a half seconds left. Shot is no good. That's the end of the first half, folks. The Lions lead by three. 24 to 21. We'll be back with some halftime stats. What a game, Dale. Okay, unofficial score here in the first half. Thanks to Jerry Free. For Beloit, Joel Fouts with six, Tanner Lipton with five, 
Dane Kelly with six, Jeff Pruitt with four. For the Lions, Ryan Weedle with six, Jared Shoemaker with four, Owen Kendall with three, Zach Bishop with four, Josh Lott with four, Brandon Crum with three. Back uh, here with uh, third quarter action. We'll trade. What do you think of the first half? No, I can't see him. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the first half? Here? No. Three? No, that was that. No, I don't need him. Well, Dale, we got one minute till tip off. We're going to have a barn burner, I think, don't you? Yeah. Any uh, thoughts, comments on the first half? Well, I thought we played pretty decent. I would, I don't know what our free throw percentage was. I would like to made a few more, but hey, anytime you got a three point lead, it seems to be a low scoring game. A lot uh, lower than I thought it would be. Yeah. I, and it may end up being yet. Yeah, uh, I thought it might be in the 70s or the 60s or something, but right now we're 24 to 21. I uh, quite honestly hope that we would uh, amass a bigger lead with the big boys sitting on the bench all that second quarter. But their uh, their five littler guys play the well in the second yeah. quarter. Yeah, they defense and put up a lot of threes and outside shots. So, yeah. They hit some baskets where we weren't. Yeah, their zone caused us some troubles. But folks, hey, we're ready to start the second half. Two quarters left. Here for the league lead of the NCAA. Woods will inbound the ball. <laughs> Fouts has the ball. He takes a layup right in there, folks. Makes it 24-23. They score the first six seconds. Grice with the ball over to Shoemaker. Out front to Little. He gives off to Weedle. Weedle dribbles. Stops, gives back to Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Yes, sir! A great, a great move by Shoemaker. 26 to 23. Full court pressure by the Lions. Pruitt gets the ball. Over to Fouts. Fouts out to Woods. Litton with the ball. Litton drives. Oh! A little there. Yeah. Chance to tie the game here for uh, Travis yep. Litton. 26-25. He has a chance for a three-point game or a three-point play. <laughs> it's tied up, folks. 26 to 26. <laughs> Shoemaker with the ball. Grist over to Little. Grist with the ball. He takes it in. No good. Out of bounds on the Lions. We're all knotted up. 6.51 left, third quarter. Beloit and Minneapolis are tied. Kelly has the ball, gives it back to Woods. Woods gets it up to Pruitt. Fouts loses the ball, regains. Step to front, save the basket Knock that ball away. Kelly over to Litton. Converged on Pruitt there to keep you from getting that pass. Crum comes in for Little. Woods to inbound the ball. Boys trying for their first lead of the night here. Pruitt. Pruitt, he's fouled. Woo! 
Boy, if boy goes ahead here, it'll be the first time in a long time, Dale. First time of the game. Yeah, first time of the game. They have not led at all. Let's go, Pruitt. Sneak him. Pruitt will shoot two. He's six foot nine. First shot's good. There's their first lead of the night, 27 to 26. Second one, no good. Out to Crum. Crum stops, gives it back to Weedle. Weedle over to Kendall to Shoemaker. Shoemaker dribbles inside. Oh, gets his own rebound. Yes. Hard work by Shoemaker. Gives a lead back to the Lions. There's Fouch with the ball. Bucket by Beloit. Weedle with the ball. 29-28 Beloit leads over to Shoemaker. Traveling foul on Kendall. Gives the ball back to Beloit. They have a one point lead, 29 to 28. Five minutes, 40 seconds left. Third quarter, kicked out of bounds by Shoemaker. Woods inbound the ball. He gets it into Pruitt, back to Woods. To Pruitt. Looky there, folks. Easy bucket. 31-28, Beloit leads. Weedle to Kendall. Shoemaker. Kendall. Shoemaker. Foul on Beloit. Shoemaker will shoot two. Oh, shoot three. Oh, shoot three. Thirty-one for Bloyd, twenty-eight for Minneapolis. Shoemaker at the line to shoot three. He was fouled in the attempt of a three-point shot. Right through there. Thirty-one, twenty-nine. Shoe has two more. Yes. The second one went in. Cuts the lead down to one. Litton comes out, Full Hage comes in. Shoemaker to shoot the last of his three. He got them all, folks. Way to go, Jared. Ties it up, 31-31, 5-11 left. Third quarter. Woods brings the ball up. Over to Kelly. Kelly into Pruitt. Oh! Rebounded by Grice. Over to Weedle. Charging there, huh? Shoemaker into Kendall. Weedle into Grice. No good. Shoemaker falls up with the rebound. He's fouled. Yes, the bucket's got to be good. Foul on Fouts. Fouts. Shoemaker's come out and played a well of a third quarter, folks. Gives the Lions a 33-31 point lead. Shoemaker missed that one. Kendall comes away with it. Back to Shoemaker. Weedle with the ball. Four minutes, 34 seconds left. Third quarter. Clock's running. Kendall. Weedle. Yes! He's smooth as silk. 35-31. Woods with the ball. They find Pruitt. Oh, he walked, but he, they didn't call it on him. Bucket's good. 35-33. Kendall. Oh. 
Woods comes away with it, gets the foul. No good. Rebounded by Weedle. Weedle pushes it up. He's going to stop. Gives off to Grice, over to Crum. Crum from 15. Yes! 37 33. Beloit has the ball. Woods brings it up court. He's guarded by Crum. Pruitt. Oh, the big fella nailed a nice turnaround jump shot. 37 35. 319 left, third quarter. Shoemaker with the ball. He's going to drive. No good. Pruitt gets a rebound. Woods brings it up. Full Hage has it. He gives off the fouls over to Kelly. Fouts. Man to man defense. Pruitt, turn around. No good. Rebounded by Grice. Crumb comes away with it. There's two minutes and 49 seconds left, third quarter. Weedle. He thought about it. Back to Crumb. Crumb over to Shoemaker. Into Grice. Grice thinks about it. Gives it to Kendall. Oh, it's going to be a turnover on the Lions. Zach Bishop and Mr. Lott. Two minutes, 29 seconds left, third quarter. Woods with the ball. Oh! Yeah. Mortimer comes in for Weedle. Give him a break. 37 to 35. The Lions lead, folks. Shoemaker's got three fouls. They'll take him out for a little while. Give him a rest. Jared's had a heck of a game. Full haze with the ball. Guarded by Mortimer. Fouts. Fouts. Minute 56 of Crumb. Yes! 39-37, Lions lead. Woods with the ball. For three. No good, Bishop with the rebound. Over to Little. Crum. Lot. He's fouled in the buckets, good! Minute 27 left. Josh Lott made a good move, made the bucket, got the foul. He'll shoot a free throw. Forty-one, thirty-seven. Lott will hit one free throw here. And he did, folks. There's a five-point lead with a minute 27 left. Third quarter. Full Hage with the ball. He's guarded by Mortimer. He gets it off to Kelly. Woods with the ball. Into Fouts. Fouts has him. He's fouled by Little. He'll shoot two with a minute. 14 seconds left. Shot's good. Forty-two, thirty-eight. Lions lead. He made them both, folks. That's old Clay Camp, number thirty-two. Cuts the lead to three. Mortimer with the ball. Takes the baseline. Gives it to Little. In and out. No good. Fouts. 
No good, Pruitt. Yes. Forty-three seconds left, third quarter. Lions lead by one, 42-41. Little with the ball, gives it off to Crum. Top of the key, over to Mortimer. Mort dribbles, gives it to Bishop with 30 seconds left. Back to Mortimer. Crum has the ball, 24 seconds left. Little, he finds Lott. Lott finds Mortimer. Crum. It's partially blocked. Woods with the ball. To Pruitt. That's the end of the quarter. Pruitt hit a three-pointer. Gives Beloit a 43-42 to lead, folks, with eight minutes remaining. Heck of a quarter, Dale. Arm burner all the way. I, I didn't expect anything different. Well, I keep hoping we'll get one of these leads and keep expanding it. Below she's coming back. Yep. It will be a very interesting fourth quarter. Both cheerleading groups are out there trying to pep up their respective crowds. Eight minutes left in this game. Can we beat the number three team in the state of Kansas? Well, they outscored us 22 to 18. They outscored us 22 to 18 that quarter, Dale says. They outscored us 16 to 12, yeah. so we're gonna win this game. We gotta change that, that uh, direction. Yeah. All right, folks, get ready. Hang on here. You're going to see an exciting fourth quarter. Minneapolis inbounds to Crum. He's a sophomore. Over to Mortimer. To Lott. Little. He finds Mortimer. Back to Little. Crum with the ball, he takes it inside. Gives it off to Little. Little has the ball. He finds Bishop. Oh. Nice block by Jeff Pruitt. Gives them the ball and the lead. Kelly with the ball into Pruitt. Kelly for three. <laughs> Foul on Beloit for pushing. That's how he got the rebound. He pushed off to get the rebound. He got called for a foul. Seven minutes, six seconds left. Lions trail by one, 43 to 42. Lot over to Weedle. Ryan dribbles. Off to Shoemaker. Shoemaker. Shoemaker called for traveling. Bounce back to Pruitt. Pruitt to Woods. To Kelly. Stolen by Bishop. Shoemaker with the ball. Weedle. Crum. Six minutes, 29 seconds left in this game. Shoemaker. Takes his man in, takes it all the way in. Yes, sir! Left-handed baseline move by Shoemaker. Gives the Lions the lead. Pruitt has the ball. He's a six foot nine fella. Gives it off to Woods. 
Lions lead by one. There's six minutes left. Clay Camp. Oh, foul on Bishop. Fifteen foul. Owen Kendall comes in to play sack. The Trojans have fourteen fouls. Hey, ball stolen by Crum. Shoemaker brings it up. Gives it to Weedle. Shoemaker, Kendall, Crum. Shoemaker out front. Over to Crum. In the lot, in the corner. Weedle. No good. Rebounded all by Beloit. Litton with the rebound. Yeah, out of bounds on Beloit. Yes. We got a timeout. Five minutes, 20 seconds left in this game, folks. 44 to 43. This is going to be a barn burner all the way to the end, Dale. Oh. Both crowds are getting very energized here. Both teams have taken the court. The ball belongs to the Lions. Lions with a one point lead. Shoemaker will inbound the ball to Ryan Weedle. Weedle brings it up. Disha's off to Crum. Lott has the ball. There's Crum. In and out, no good. Minneapolis's ball. Thank, thanks to Shoemaker. Shoemaker will inbound the ball. Then some of those sweet pointers start falling. Ball stolen by Beloit. Nice bucket by Fouts. He gives him the lead. Kendall over to Crum. <laughs> Beloit has a one point lead, four minutes, 39 seconds left. Bad pass. Gives the ball back to the Lions with four minutes and 26 seconds left. What? Oh, guess there's a foul there. It's his third. Ball to Fouts, into Pruitt. Turn around, no good. Rebounded by Weedle. Yes! 46-45, Lions lead by one with four minutes left in this game. Foul on Crum, that will put seven fouls. That will send Beloit to the one and one with four minutes and two seconds left in this game. Beloit only has four fouls. Ball missed the free throw, boys, miss him. Forty six, forty six. He can break the tie right now. And he yeah, he does. Forty seven, forty six. Lions trail by one. 
Seamaker brings it up. He looks for inside. Oh! Back to Weedle. In the lot. He turns. He puts the bucket in. He was fouled. They did not call it. How do you like that? Dumping it over the big boy, huh? Yes, sir. 48-47. Three minutes, 41 seconds left. Fouts has the ball. Pruitt makes a nice move. Gives him a one-point lead. 49-48. Kendall with the ball. Shoemaker. Shot that didn't go yeah. walking the first place. Yes. 15 foul, third personal on Fouts. Three minutes, 19 seconds left. Shoemaker to inbound the ball to Lot. He shoots from way downtown. It's in there! Yes! 51 49, two point Lion lead. Uh oh, watch it, Ryan. Two minutes, 59 seconds left, folks. Minneapolis leads 51 to 49. That's where the Lions defense is really gonna have to step it up, pull it all out. Woods brings the ball inbounds to Kelly. Over to Fouts. Fouts tries to get in the big fella. Knocked out of bounds by the Lions. Two minutes, 53 seconds. Defense is what's going to win this game. Oh! Oh, that was a terrible call. They called a foul on Kendall when it was a foul on Pruitt. Pruitt backed up, bumped him out of the way, but they gave it to Beloit. That was a lousy call. Well, that's... Pruitt missed the first one. Two minutes, 49 seconds left, folks. Pruitt to shoot one more. He made that one. It's a one-point game, folks. 51-50. Crum with the ball. He shoots from 10. No good. Fouts comes away with the rebound. He gives it to Woods. Woods back to Fouts. Over to Woods. Pressure defense. Oh, my. Litton with the ball. Minneapolis has a one-point lead into Pruitt. Oh! No charge on the man. Foul on Minneapolis, but it should have been Pruitt charging. A hacking foul on Mott. I thought they called it on Weedle, but they called it on Mott. All right, he ties it up, 51 to 51. Timeout, Bloyd, with two minutes, 18 seconds left, tie ball game. It's gonna come down, who plays the smartest in the last two minutes? Who plays the best defense? Who has Lady Luck on their side? You bet you, old Lady Luck, we may, might need her tonight. Fifty-one to fifty-one. Beloit has called a timeout. There's two minutes and eighteen seconds left in this ball game to see who will take over possession of first place in the NCAA league. <laughs> Beloit's taking the court. It's been a heck of a high school basketball game.
going to go alive for a second free throw. Yep, he'll try to give him the lead. We've got Shoemaker, Crum, Weedle, Weedle, and Lott on the court for Coach Williams' team. You got Coach Williams, Coach Shoot, Coach Harris. They direct the men's program. There's a shot. It's, it's in there. There's a one point lead, 52 to 51. Weedle with the ball. Over to Lot. Shoemaker with the ball. Out to Crum. Crum dribbles. Gives back to Shoemaker. Shoe dribbles. He's in trouble. There gets off to Crum. A minute 56 left, folks. Weedle. Knocked out of bounds by Beloit. We're a minute 47 left. Yeah, I don't like they only have five team fouls. They can spend some fouls here. Shoemaker to inbound the ball. He finds Crum. Weedle. Lot into Weedle. Yes! Beautiful shot by Luke Weedle. Gives the Lions a one point lead. Fouls has the ball. Over to Pruitt, minute 16. Fouts has the ball. He's guarded by Crum. They get it into Big Boy. There's Fouts. He'll shoot from 15. It's in there. 54, 53. We're under one minute, folks. 55 seconds left. 54 to 53. Beloit leads with 49 seconds left. Weedle with the ball. He gives it to Crum. To Weedle. Weedle takes it in. Got a foul on Beloit. I don't have 16 fouls. I need one more to put us at line. Timeout Beloit with 37 seconds left. 54 to 53. This is the second barn burner this week. Dale, can our hearts take it? Well, I said the 53 51. This is really Yes. Good. We beat Belleville last uh, Tuesday night, 53 to 51, in a very, very close game, and we've got one here, folks. The Lions trail by one point, 54 to 53. Shoemaker will inbound the ball. Needless to say, we need to score a bucket. Shoemaker's looking. He finds Kendall. Kendall finds Weedle. 34 seconds left. Shoemaker with the ball. <laughs> 25 seconds left. Over to Crum. We're not making a good move there, Dale. There's Crum. 18 seconds left. Crum with the ball. He's fouled by Fouts. <laughs> 14 seconds left. Sends a sophomore to the line. 54 to 53. Beloit has the lead. Timeout, Beloit. Another timeout by Beloit. Here. Uh, he's 
60%. free throw shooter. He's at the line. Big shot for a sophomore here. He can tie or put us ahead. He makes the first one. He's as cool as the other side of the pillow, folks. Tie ball game, 54-54. He gives us a one-point lead. For the Lions. 14 seconds left. Lions lead by one. Beloit has the ball. We'll put full, full court pressure here. Pruitt gives it to Woods. Woods gives it to Pruitt. He turns. No good. It's five seconds, three seconds, two. No, there's a foul. Foul on foul. So the ball game's not over, everybody. The game's not over. Pruitt missed the shot that would have won the game for him. They gave it to the guy they had to give it to. Yeah. that miss. The Lions have a 55 to 54 lead. Yeah! There should be a couple seconds left. But we're, we're on the verge of upsetting the third third ranked team in the state. They need to put her down to about 2.3 seconds, not 23. 2.3 seconds. They've got a one and one. We have a timeout on the line. Wow, wow, wow. Folks, what a ball game. You gotta love high school basketball. If you folks haven't been up to see these Lions in person, I'm telling you, come on up. There's room for you. Beloit gave it to the man they wanted, Jeff Pruitt. He made a, did a turnaround, could not make her go. The Lions will host Rock Creek next Tuesday here. Who is Rock Creek? That's St. George Fields. Okay, where's St. George at? Anyway, here we are. Just east of Manhattan. Okay. Josh Lott at the line. 2.3 seconds left. We've got several men standing back. Shoemaker and Weedle, they want to put, do not allow Beloit an, any chance for an easy bucket here with 2.3 seconds left. Josh Lott at the line. He made it, folks. Fifty-six, fifty-four. Two point three seconds is all there's left in this game. Lot to shoot the last one. He made it. Where will they get the ball at now? Not half court. This is the NBA. Okay. Folks, Josh Lott just hit two big free throws. I'm telling you, we're ahead 57 to 54. There's a timeout by Beloit. They're going to have to hit a three to tie it. This is not the NBA. You can't advance the ball after the ball is not out. Okay. Lottie, we can't be disappointed in the money they spent coming up. No, you couldn't be disappointed. This was a lot of entertainment. I just hope we can not let them get that three-point shot off that could tie the game and send it into overtime. This is a time for a good defensive stand by the Lions. Now, let's go, Lions. We're going to have Owen Kendall on Fouts, or Woods, excuse me. All right, Kendall, jump. 
There's a pass. It's no good. Crum has the ball. We got the victory, folks. Yes. We have upset Beloit. Number three in the state of Kansas has gone down due to defeat. Yes. How about that, folks? 57 to 54. One thing I like about this is that not only do we take the lead, but we have beaten the Trojans here. We beat Belleville. There. There. Beloit beat Belleville on their home court. They still have to go to Belleville. Yeah. So if we can play good ball the rest of the way, we're in the driver's seat. Hey, we're looking good. We're undefeated. We met Beloit head on, came away with a small victory in point wise, but a big, big victory. We'll be back. We'll get some final uh, statistics for you here. And uh, anything you want to say now, Dale? We'll collect our thoughts and come back. We'll collect our thoughts. to take a one-point lead, 43 to 42. Fourth quarter, we outscored scored them, 15 to 11. The squeak by with a 57-54 win here. Grace, this is two games this week. We won by a total of five points. That's really something. When you can beat Belleville at home and then come down here and beat Beloit all in the same week, it's quite a feat. Beat them by five total points. Yeah. Coach Williams has this team clicking. I heard him talk yesterday at Lions Club. He's excited about this team, and so am I. I am too. The, uh, the thing that probably disappointed me the most tonight was our outside shotting just wasn't quite clicking most no. of the time. But we had a tremendous inside game most of the time. We weren't afraid to bother us a little bit, but we yep. weren't afraid to take it to the hole. And that, yep. that paid for us in the end. Uh, I was rather surprised that Boyd didn't foul very much in yeah. the second half. I think it probably could have been some call that worked, yeah. but uh, that was something we really had to fight for with them, was that lack of fouling on their part in the I, second half. I thought with 2.3 seconds left, they might have another way of doing it instead of trying to go that far. No, I, no they weren't They weren't going to dribble it. They had to do a downcourt pass. Didn't they, I didn't see who they passed it to. Well, they tried to get through it. Did they? Okay. But it wasn't, was over here on the far yeah. side. It wasn't anywhere near him. Okay, I, it came down over here. Yeah, no, well, the north side of the gym. I don't think so. Yeah. But if, anyway, it didn't work, and I'm uh, very happy it didn't. Brandon Crunk came in with the ball and uh, seals the victory. We're waiting for some final statistics here. They'll be unofficial, but it will give you an idea of what went on here tonight. Let's see, who else do we play in the league we haven't played yet? Uh, Ellsworth. Ellsworth and Russell. Yeah. Let's kind of review the schedule here. Next Tuesday night, we play here against uh, Rock Creek. Comes Rock Creek. Come on up, folks. Ellsworth. Then a week, a week from tonight, we play Ellsworth. So once again. So two home games coming up. And the uh, 24th, we go to no, we don't. Then we have the, the Sterling week. Sterling invitation after that. And Abilene we play here on the 21st. And then somewhere after that we put, uh, we put uh, the Russell game in that was canceled before Christmas. You, uh, this is just exciting basketball and uh, something that's Yep. The community of Dahl, the whole USD 239 community will be proud of. Uh, yep. Coach Williams has done a great job. He's been here six years now. He's got people thinking about winning, playing with a winning attitude. This ought to move the Lions up into the top five. In yep. Get uh, Lloyd Hawks down out of the top five, maybe out of the top ten. Uh huh. Yeah, they've lost now to uh, Sacred Heart and to us. And uh, we're awaiting the statistics here. We'll give you a rundown of the scoring. Oh, okay. Okay. 
All right, we'll give you some other first scoring here. Ryan Weedle ends up with eight. Jared Shoemaker with 15. Owen Kendall with three. Zach Bishop with four. Josh Lott with 14. Brandon Crum with nine. Luke Weedle with two. These are unofficial votes. Uh, who was 31 for Beloit? 31, 31. Joel Fouts. Strauss had 19. 33. Tanner Linton has 10. 35. Dane Kelly has 6. Crud. 18. 18, roughly. And 2 for number 32. Blaine Crawford, Blaine Crawford. Or, excuse me, Thomas Claycamp was who that was. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. That's kind of rough doing this, and I know these are rough stats, but I think they're pretty close. Folks, thanks for watching here on Channel 37 MCTV. Uh, brought to you by the MHS Linebackers. Trace, thanks for calling the game. Hey, you bet Dell's always fun, and hey. We'll be back next Tuesday to broadcast Rock Creek. I have no idea what they've got. Well, I'll be here. I know you will be too. I hope you folks enjoy this telecast on Sunday. Good night.